eight years old, walking under the bridge. Scrub, swamp, abandoned machinery, insides of tennis balls, bits of fences, meeting the boys at the dam, bikes in a pile, skater shoe soles, not cold in, never is, boys talking about mangoes, slapping water, some have never had one, listen to the taste, the squeeze of a cheek, dripping chins, a dog jumps in, they pull on tufts of hair, fill ears with mud, breeze full, clouds break, they remember my birthday is tomorrow. Boys talking about mangoes. All right, so uh, how does this happen? Now this is really fresh right in the rave at the moment. Now if you're in Australia, you may have seen something really recently. Who's <coughs> just see? And it's been garnering a bit of a uh, bit of bit of news coverage. I mean, look up mangoes right now. Just you know that that glorious fruit that everyone loves. That it makes you. Drip from your chin. How does this get into our exams? All right, so if you know what the HSC is, it's basically like the most important exams of your high school life in Australia. And English is the only compulsory subject, the only subject they, they force feed you that you must do, because apparently reciting Shakespeare is much more important than knowing how to do your taxes. Now the theme of this area of study, or, or whatever you want to call it in this paper, was discovery. And I don't know what we're supposed to be discovering here. Maybe it's women to discover our inner need to just kneel over and die, because I just want to die. I don't know where the discovery is, in this absolute dribble of crap. Now I've heard a lot of people complaining, it's all over my Facebook, everyone's like, I hate mangoes! That's a fair presumption, but this is something along the lines of what I got. It says I'm about eight years old, so you know it's a kid. I'm like, yeah, it's a kid, they're going through somewhere, I don't know where they're going, but it seems like it's a pretty, you know, normal place to spend and stuff. Yeah, it's normal for a little eight year old to be walking uh, down there near fences and meeting boys. That's Normal. It, to me, it seems very innocent, you know, I'm an innocent person. My idea here is that they're talking about mango, mangoes and they're just like, mangoes. They're talking about mangoes and they're like, oh, I've never had a mango before. And the girl's like, here, have a mango, it's real good. And they're like, mmm, these are really good. And then the juice, because it's such a juicy fruit, is down their chin and they're like, oh, mmm, jeez, these are very tasty. And then the dog just innocently jumps in, starts licking their face, like licking up all the, all the juice. And it's really cute. It's a, it's a beautiful moment, a great poetic they, I don't know the discovery, but that's what I'm grabbing from the poem. They pull on tufts of hair, I guess they're patting the dog or something. Philly is with mud, I don't know, someone does a 619 into the into the mud pit, I don't, I don't know, that f sounds like something I'd do. Breeze fall, clouds break, they remember my birthday tomorrow. That last line, I don't, I, don't, I still don't get it. They remember my birthday is tomorrow. When the, when, when they remember my birthday, it's tomorrow! I, that's what I pulled from this. Apparently I'm wrong. Yeah, no, apparently it's about rape. How does rape get into a bloody HSC meme? I don't, I don't get it. Now, after being told it was about rape, I, uh, I read it a bit differently, and unfortunately it ruined, <laughs> ruined, uh, the, the idea of meeting the boys, boys talking about mangoes, which apparently is clearly, clearly they're not talking about mangoes. That's what I grabbed. Yeah, they definitely weren't talking about man mangoes. I don't know why I thought of this so literally. I should have, should have got mangoes. Clearly they mean tits. Slapping water, I don't know, flicking the water at her face. That's something. Uh, some never had one. Some have never had one. Uh, sex, listen to the taste, the squeeze of a cheek, each line dripping chins gets a little worse, a dog jumps in, great, so now not only is it rape, but it's also bestiality. And then they remember my birthday, it's tomorrow, I don't, I don't know where that ties in with the whole rape allegations, but how does this get into an exam for 17 and 18 year old? How does this get into an exam? Now at our age, I mean, sex and nudity and drugs and whatever, they're kind of norm now in exams, like you expect it, and I'm totally cool with that. I I get off to a bit of sex every now and then. I make it to at least page two. But I think rape's a, a complete different level. Sex is fine, that's all right. But child rape, anal rape, that's 
That's not fine. Regardless of even if it is about rape and child mol molestation. Where's the discovery? What are they discovering? I don't know. I, I got a little bits here and I completely rambled. Like I put maybe, I put like a page down of just shit. It was just shit. I, I don't even know what I put. I don't remember it. I don't want to remember it. Someone please tell me the discovery in the, this poem. The author got a bit of abuse. I mean, there was maybe one or two <laughs> few people messaging her privately and being like, yo, kill yourself, faggot. So she went and live streamed her explaining it because that was needed. Even watching that and listening to it, I'll leave a link if it's still up, but it just... I still couldn't find the discovery. <laughs> she did disclaim that it was something to do with sex with the mangoes. And I'm like, why? Why? Okay, we're talking about an eight year old girl and then boys and then them wanting sex. Fair enough. But I can only assume they're relative to that age. And if you're relative to eight, why is that on your mind? Why is this woman thinking of these children wanting to have sex when also in the same sentence talking about an eight year old walking on their own? Past broken down shit. Bit deranged. I won't question it though. You guys can extrapolate. Ha! <laughs> Use that word way too much in my exams recently. But you guys can extrapolate what you want from that. If anyone understands it, comment down below. I'm probably being a little bit too tedious here. But basically, she goes on and um and she does say in rape. Yeah, sure. We could we could find you one like that. Um, I didn't, I didn't know what she's talking about, but anal rape just seems to always be on her agenda. But essentially, from what I could see from her is that it wasn't really about rape. I mean, you can twist it however you want. You know, this bitch can twist like a contortionist, but you could do that to anything. Bloody Pepper the Pig could be turned into some kind of kinky orgy if you wanted it to be. But yeah, the poem is basically about this little girl wandering off in a, an aboriginal land. Because that, that was easy to, you just went, oh yeah, she's walking past pieces of rubble. Must be aborigine land. Clearly, there is no other option. Ah, I get it. Because all land's aborigine land. Nice one. But she basically says it's a little kid, she's doing this. I don't, I lost interest and I was like, I'm sorry, I just have rape in my head now. Shouldn't say that too loudly. But we get to the part of the abuse and, well, to be honest, it's a bit uncalled for. And the news, of course, the news, fake news have been uh, going, oh, you need to stop. Uh, this is our future. These are the kids of the future and they could they're abusing this lady for writing about mangoes! Well, yes, because it's a shit poem. Although, I don't think the abuse should go to this lady, because I could write the most awful rape poem. I mean, I personally could. Someone else probably could. Someone else deranged probably could. Put it out there as a joke, a terrible joke, and just be like, this is awful. And then th Nessa be like, that's going on our exam. There's discovery there. Discovery of of the inside of an eight year old. I'm gonna stop you there. Relax. I think there shouldn't be any abuse. And if there is abuse, it should be held at people who put it in the exam, not the deranged mind who wrote it. I mean, is it just a joke? It's just a life. Life is a meme, you know? That's basically all I gotta say about mangoes. I mean, there's not really much else to say. Apparently it's about rape. She says it's not about rape. How the hell did this get into our exam? No idea. God help us. How did you guys go? Did you did you do anything? I I don't know. What about the third one? Screw the screw the creative writing. What about the third part? That was great. I used uh, my little friend Rick and Morty as my related text, and I, I kind of forgot as I got in there what I wanted to do. So I just made up a scene. You know, it wasn't that bad. I kind of used the scene of like the end of the evil Morty episode, the first one, when they're like, there's a whole heap of Mortys, but I just made up some lines. I mean, some seven year old guy going, mm, this doesn't share a discovery. It's not gonna know if I made that up or not. How have you guys gone? How much did you make up? I mean, this was my mark out of 20 <laughs> when I, um, when I, when I did it in trials. So I'm, I'm not expecting anything higher, but no, that's about it. That's, uh, that's going to sum it up. <laughs> yeah. Tell me what you think of these random videos and stuff. Subscribe if you're new. If you enjoyed the video, do hit the like button, comment down below how I can get better in making this kind of content. Something I do want to branch out into, doing some kind of random skits, talking crap about other crap, exposing crap, shooting up, not down. Uh, I want to see how we can do it. So if there are any improvements you can uh, give me for my content, shoot away. Be as ruthless as possible. If you agree with this comment down below. If you want to tell me how you're doing in your exams, don't. I don't care. I, I couldn't give a fuck less. Do you know what I think of success? It sucks. Which is alright, because I'm 
clearly not succeeding. Enjoy your shit. Thank you for watching, and I'll see. Ah, uh, dead meme. You later. <clears throat> Enjoy the mango meme. It's um, it's very nutritious. It's, it's uh, uh, existentialist. It's a big word. You should have used it in English. Walking under the bridge, got swarmed and Abandoned machinery Inside of the tent, there's balls bits of fences Meeting the boys at the dam Bikes in a pile, skating show shoes Not coding, never is Boys talking about mango slapping Water some nap, never had was to listen to the taste the Squeeze of a cheek, dripping chins and a dog jumps in They pull and toss the head Fill ears with mud the Breeze full clouds break They remember my birthday is tomorrow But I'm eight years old Walking under the bridge Crop swamp Abandoned machinery Inside tennis balls And now they have balls in my grave that's my new word For vagina It's a rave Just a rave